All right, now this is when we actually go do the research on the ghouls. Uh, there are many different ways to do it, and probably the easiest and uh, probably the most fun is to drink for it, actually. There's a, a certain man you can talk to in the bar. Uh, I guess his name is Drunkard. But basically, he's going to challenge you to a drinking contest. I'm being serious that this is one of the mini game. This is one of the mini games in the game, drinking. So you click on the icon of the beer mug, and then you need to select your type of alcohol that you will uh, attempt to drink. Now, if you win, that's good. But if you lose, you end up with a bad hangover and a lot less money on you. So make sure to save or do something like that before you actually uh, start the start this game because obviously losing money is bad. And since I beat him, I used three glasses of medium strength alcohol, I believe. I'm not sure if that really mattered or not, but uh. Yeah, I didn't look too. I did not look too much into how to actually win these drinking games, and I. This might be really the only time where I actually do it. Wait, no, there is one more time later in the game where I, do try to outdrink someone. But yeah, if Geralt will ask for a reward for outdrinking him, he will get a book about ghouls. And now you can get ghoul blood for the uh, ghoul contract from Kalkstein, the crazy alchemist that hangs out at this bar all day because they won't let him back in the city. Right, uh, when you're drunk, uh, when you're actually intoxicated like this, uh, the screen will go blurry. Uh, Geralt will be staggering around. Some sometimes, if you drink enough potions, you'll start seeing spots in the dark. It's kind of cool. Your attack actually is cut in half until you're sober again, as well as your accuracy. So it is a bad idea to fight when you are drunk. I guess as it is in real life. I don't know. I'm. I can't drink yet in Canada. At least legally. Uh, yeah, the rest of the video is just uh, me going off to see Heron Brog, and I think I sell off those Bargus skulls, at least that's what I think they are from this preview screen, to Abigail. I'm not sure if I actually sold them to her last time, which is probably why I went back there and did it. I, th I think they only sell for about $5 each, but they do add up very quickly. I remember the last boss after I killed him. I think I had 50 of the skulls just sitting in my inventory. And remember to save at least one of them. Save one skull and one beast fang. You though that's what that's the tooth item you get from killing a bargast. You find a a dentist later that le that loves to collect uh monster teeth and he apparently can reward you with the best steel sword in the game. I have yet to actually get that from him. And I will try to do it for this for this run of the game as the text guide I have to help me get every quest and like every every unlockable type of thing in this game. And the version I played with it originally and the version I'm playing now are all different, so they might lead to different things. I don't know. The company C D project uh, doesn't or didn't exactly say much about what changed between the patches, to my knowledge, because I got the game a year and a half, two years after they made it. Mm. No, it would have been about. Actually, it probably would have been maybe even 
close it a half a year after they made it. It came out in Christmas of 2007, and I bought it. Uh, I'm trying to actually think on this one. I must have bought it late 2007. But just the different versions, of, the guide may have been written for version 1.1. I played version 1.3, and eventually in this guide, I'm going to be on version 1.5. So stuff may not exactly coincide perfectly, but I'll do everything that I can to keep it as consistent as possible. Uh, yeah, I do actually end up selling off those extra Bargus skulls. I guess I clearly did forget about them last time. Yeah, I just sell all of them off but one, at least until the final boss fight, because you are not able to sell... At least, I don't know if you can actually sell a skull, the skulls, to Abigail. Wait, no, you definitely can't. She's not with you after the final boss fight. But yeah, just sell, keep, put one in your inventory at the very beginning of the chapter and just sell off the others as you get them. And when you get like the extra 50 or so at the end of the level, store them all in the inventory. And if you follow what I, the path that I take, you will meet up with Abigail later in the game and I, I'm pretty sure she'll still buy them off you. I mean, they don't, you can't use them for alchemy or anything, like you can't mix them in to make healing potions, so you, they're just taking up space so you may as well sell them off. I mean it's a little it's a little long to wait considering this is chapter one and you'll meet her again in chapter four if you make the same choice as I do. Uh yeah, you notice me just kinda stopping and looking around seeing just kinda standing still doing nothing? It's because when I was recording, the, my computer was moving uh, pretty slowly, like the frame rate wasn't that good. So I thought if I stopped that it would help for whatever reason. I don't know why I did. And again, I'm going to be apologizing a lot for possible technical issues with the game itself. Like I said earlier, my, my computer was made before this game came out it somehow runs it pretty well on medium and I'm not sure if it would help but patch 1.5 has it so that the uh, DVD does not need to be inserted into the drive to play it so I'm not sure if that will help performance in any way I hope it does because the best performance while recording is better I guess But yeah, I end the video before talking to Heron Brog, and I probably do some. I probably go through the same dialogue a bunch of times because I'm trying to play dice with them, even though I forgot to talk to Zoltan about uh, playing people in the village for money to get to become a professional at this. And that will be in a separate video. So in the next video, I will be doing his quest.